Hi, I'm Rishi Hazra, a sophomore at Skyline High School of the Issaquah School District. Today, we're going to take a look at how to locate your own Snowtel station, the station that transmits data about snowpack and helps water managers make decisions about your drinking water. Currently, we're at the NRCS USDA interactive map, and this map hosts all the information you could possibly need to learn more about the water and the weather in your area. Right now, we are zoomed in on the physical map of the United States of America. And also, at the top right, you can see that we're under station inventory. Depending on your purpose for using this interactive map, you can select station conditions, basin conditions, or both. To locate your Snowtail station, you'll want to be under station inventory, and then select the fields here and filter out the stations that are not relevant to what you're looking for. First up, we see elements, and here you can filter out the stations that show up based on the kind of information you need. Now, since our primary concern with Snowtail stations are around snowpack and rainfall, we'll select the fields under snow and precipitation. And then, you can narrow down the stations further by location, and you'll do that by selecting your state here. And to do it quickly, you can select the first letter of your state, and it should jump right to it. Uh, then you can go ahead and do the same with your county name, and I'll use Washington and King County uh, as an example. You can see that we have a cluster of stations here, and those are all located in King County of Washington. So finally, you can narrow down stations by type, and to do that, just uncheck all, and then since we're interested in Snowtail stations, just select that. Now, to actually identify your local Snowtail station, we'll have to zoom in on the map where you can see the markers, and here are the dark blue dots up at the top left are representing Snowtail stations, as you can see at the key in the bottom left. Now, you'll just select it and centralize it on your screen, and then use the zoom function to gradually zoom in. Now, once you have the cluster of Snowtail stations centralized on your screen, take a moment to familiarize yourself with the labels that you see. Do you recognize any of the city names, any of the bodies of water? What looks familiar to you? Now, I live in Sammamish, and that neighbors the city of Issaquah and I can see the city of Issaquah labeled here. That indicates that my local Snowtail station will be quite nearby. So let's zoom in closer. Now as I'm zooming in, I can recognize this body of water. It's a South Fork Tolt Reservoir. It provides the drinking water for my region. And it was first filled in 1964 when a dam was created in the west end of a steep mountain valley. Now once the dam went in, all the water backed up to fill this artificial lake. The South Fork Tolt Reservoir now supplies 30% of the drinking water for over 1.3 million people in and around Seattle, myself included. Now, back to our local Snowtail site, if we hover over the blue dot nearest to this reservoir, we can see that it's at Skookum Creek, and that's the name of my local Snowtail site. Now, once you've located your local Snowtail site, and if you want to see some of the data collected there, all you have to do is simply select it, and it should bring up a host of links. Now, first off, you can see the site page for much more detailed information about the Snowtail site itself. You can also see the water year chart for the current precipitation and snow water equivalent at the site. You can even see a table with hourly data from the last week, or daily data from the last month. Another useful option can be accessed by selecting Station Conditions at the top right. This brings a new image here that you can select to view the last several years of data collected at the Snowtail station. And here you can select various years to compare the snow water equivalent over time. Now back on the map we can zoom out to take a look at some of the other Snowtail stations in our area. Up north we have Alpine Meadows, and to the east we have Stevens Pass. Down south we have another clump. Remember, all these Snowtail sites measure snow water equivalent and precipitation, so we can generate reports using these Snowtail sites to find more information about rainfall and snowpack in our local areas. If you would like to locate your own local Snowtail station, the link to the interactive map will be available in the description below. Thank you!